Did you know the Rally Fighter made automotive history? It was the world's first crowdsourced car. What does that mean? Well, local motors then designed the look of this car themselves. They asked the internet for help. Yes, the internet. That could have included some of you. They held a design competition to build a two-door off-road sports coupe. And many automotive designers submitted their design. And then the public voted on it. The end result, you got a street legal off-road beast. And in my opinion, crowdsourcing works. I mean, the internet built a car. I think that works out way better than when you have a whole team of C-suite executives making decisions about how a car should look. I mean, let's face it, a lot of those executives are disconnected from reality because they don't really participate in it like the rest of us. And what's crazy is Local Motors took that concept, the idea, and actually made production vehicles out of it during the Great Recession and actually sold them. I mean, working at the company was really fun. In the early days of locomotives, we had a lot of smart people that came together and created this thing. But I don't think it would have worked without the entire community, which was everyone on the internet.